Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! As I said, this is a simple solution to a huge problem when a cup and cone bearing is not available in the market, especially here in the Philippines. To save money, I'm going to regrind the raceway of the cup of the bearing, which has small indentations and depressions to make it as good as new. Instead of throwing it away or using it continuously till the machine ends up as junk. Let us start. Take note, the concentricity of the inner and outer surfaces of the cup of the bearing must be maintained. Thus, I will use a soft jaw universal chop to hold the workpiece and center it in the four jaw independent chuck. This time, I have to use a dial indicator to ensure that the cap of the bearing is perfectly in line with the machine axis. Okay, perfect. Take note as well that the angular raceway of the cap must be maintained while its new surface is being ground. A precision protractor or a more accurate one with this dial indicator can be used. The compound rest of the lathe machine is positioned at an angle exactly the same as the angle of the waist of the cap. Now let's check it out by the use of a dial indicator. Okay, perfect. Here is a tool post grinder that I'm going to use in grinding the raceway of the cup to remove the small indentations and depressions. Let's feed it now. At least one to two passes only. Okay, let's start.
In feeding the compound with some dead, it should be a uniform weight of feed movement to obtain a good surface finish on the raceway of the cup. Let's try to mount the cone of the bearing. Good. That's how a simple solution to a huge problem about some kinds of bearings is performed. See you again. Thank you very much.